Hello, today we're going to talk about copying content from one Blackboard site into another Blackboard site. As you can see here, I have two Blackboard sites, my Blackboard demonstration site and my new Blackboard site. What I want to do is I want to take the content from my Blackboard demonstration site and transfer it into my new Blackboard site. To do this, I'll need to enter into the site and select Packages and Utilities from the control panel. From here, I want to select Course Copy. This brings us to the Course Copy page. This is where we can select the new site to move our content into. To do that, go ahead and click on the Browse button and then select the new site. The next step is to select the items that you wish to move. You can use the checkboxes next to the items to select the content you wish to move. If you have any existing Blackboard assignments, tests, or surveys, make sure that you select Grade Center Columns and Settings. This will ensure that the copied content links up correctly and will not result in an error message. If you forget to select this option, any Blackboard assignment, test, or survey will result in an error message once moved into your new site. It's also a good idea to select the Test, Surveys, and Pools option down below to make sure that all of your content is properly transferred over. Next, we have the option to select how Blackboard treats any file attachments. By default, the middle option is selected. This should be just fine, so I'm going to leave it for now. Finally, we have the option to copy over enrollments. Please do not select this option, as it will create duplicate students within your site. When everything looks good, go ahead and click the Submit button. As indicated by the green bar above, you can see that our request has been submitted. The course copy process can take anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours, depending on how much content you're copying from your existing site into the new site. You will receive an email to your Case Webmail account when this process is complete. That concludes this video on how to use the course copy tool within Blackboard. Thanks for watching!